right, man. So Levi on the Zorky is out for the season, I think. It's one of the worst kept secrets in all of Detroit Lions uh, football. I mean, any Detroit sports talk, let's talk about it real quick. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live <clears throat> or drop a video. My thing is, they said he had a back injury coming off a year in which he played no college football, right? And then he had, they didn't expect much from him his rookie season, right? Then why, they said he couldn't even sit down, so why not just get the, 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 the surgery coming out of his rookie year? You know, he'd be out of his rookie year, get the surgery, be good. Contrary to what people believe, back, back surgeries and back, you know, back surgeries have a high percentage of correcting the issues in the back. It's when your life is not over, your career is not over. More times than not, you know, a lot of people make a big recovery from back injuries. You know, um, contrary to what people believe, a lot of people don't say I don't like working on the back. A lot of people work way too late and then your body don't recover like it could have. So once again, it's just an ignorant uh, negotiation, the ignorant, ignorant franchise making another bad decision. You know, trying to fake the fans out and shit. Well, Onizorke is, you know, he's progressing and he'll be ready week one. And just lying, dude. They, the only reason they lying, for me, just like Hard Knocks was a big ass lie. To get y'all to spend y'all money and get, get y'all hope up. You know, it's just a lie to think, to make them, make you think they got a chance and they don't. Everybody got to understand it's a full rebuild as far as Matt Patricia, Quinn Tricia, stripped his team of every piece of talent they had. So Brad Holmes had to get the cap together, got some content support, compensatory picks in between time and the meantime, right? Um, and now he got to replenish the talent. Now, at the end of the day, he replenishing the talent with young injury, injury players. They're the second youngest team in the league and got the most injuries. Let me know how that makes sense. He drafted injured players, and his prize free agent, DJ Shark, came off a major injury, which he missed the whole damn near the whole 2021. So you think it got to be a recovery period? Then there, then you talking about Romeo Core? Oh man, we expect Romeo to be back sometime this year. He's saying, dude, no, I don't believe shit. Dan Campbell got to say it ain't like I don't think he lying to the fans, and I don't know who he got to be lying to the fans. You ain't lying to the opponents. The opponents don't care if it's Ona Zorke, if it's Romeo, Julian. They're not scared of the Lions, bro. And they be hiding, you know, information like they the Secret Service, dude. And y'all and not a top contender. You lie and you've been losing for the past 20 some years. You know, nobody, nobody worried about y'all game plan. Nobody worried, worried about none of that, dude. Just tell the truth. And at the end of the day, they lied about Ona Zorke. And once again, it's like another miserable second round pick. We'll see what Josh Pascal do, but you can make a back cover. But he should have had the surgery his rookie year. You know, or he went the rehab route. Well, there's a coach was saying he wasn't supposed to say this. Just let you know the league don't really care about the Lions. He said he couldn't even sit down for team meetings. Get the damn surgery. You needed it, you needed him this year. Dan Campbell said they needed a big jump from their second year players. And it ain't happened. Large part due to a couple injuries. Why not just get the surgery last year? We just gonna go to rehab, bro. He young, he can recover. That kind of makes sense. But the man couldn't sit down in meetings, dude. Come on. Then he aggravates it again. And the biggest telltale sign, he got injured in which he didn't play a year and he didn't play football. He was he had the injury. And on top of that, you was the they was dependent on him for interior pass rush. Then you say, well, we get a utility guy like Josh Pascal. You can't depend on either one of them. Therefore, Aiden Hutchinson getting unfair criticism because it's just him out there now with Charles Harris injured. With a bunch of D-leaguers, C League, C team ass dudes. You know? Just don't make no, no sense, dude. They sit there and told a bold-faced lie 
to get y'all money. They know how important he was, bro. It's not a. This is not a smart franchise, man. They make too many, too, too many boneheaded decisions, dude. Easy decisions to make. It ain't like it's complicated. It ain't like you know they they rolling the dice and they had some luck at the casino. The franchise has zero luck. But they keep taking chances on broken up players before they take play, uh, chances on character concerned players and giving them a structure which they could be successful in. But when you're the youngest team in the NFL, how much of a structure can you really have? And then they, he, this dude bring Brockers in. He has absolutely done nothing but get paid and steal a check. It just seemed like Brad Holmes is working for the Rams, bro. That bullshit ass, you know, Brockers trade. That BS, you know, trade for Matthew Stafford. They didn't do what was best in the franchise. I'll let you know right then and there. They doing what's best for Matthew Stafford, but didn't want to do what's best for Calvin and Barry Sanders. They, you know what I'm saying? They do what's best for they do what's best for Matthew Stafford, but don't do what's best for the franchise, dude. And Brad Holmes handed the Rams a fucking championship, bro. He did. And nobody wants to everybody when I talk about that do a video on that. Everybody get mad because they know it's fucking true. Excuse my language. They know it's true. Everybody knows it's true. Everybody know Brad Holmes handed them a championship. It was no, it was no way he was supposed to be the Lions GM. They keep going Matt Millen, Mayhew, Lewan, Mayhew Lewan, um, Bob Quinn. They didn't have like what four freaking first time GMs in a row, probably longer than that. Forget who was before goddamn Matt Millen. I think it was my man. I can't remember his name. They keep getting inexperienced GMs. The one time they got experienced coach of Jim Caldwell, guess what? It started to look like an actual goddamn football team. The discipline issues stopped. They were structured, and they was on the cusp of actually looking like a real franchise. Stop, stop being cheap and getting entry-level guys, man. Go out there, pay, you know, we got paid somebody with experience, like I said in my other videos, you got to pay for the resources they need to be successful, and the Lions ain't willing to do that, dude. Y'all keep believing in bullshit every year. Y'all had them had a few sellouts already, bro. They got y'all again, bro. Every year they get y'all. And they got us again when on his road. And I knew he was lying. When he got injured in preseason, he was probably already freak in the training camp. He was already injured, bro. Then Brad Holmes gonna slide it in. We didn't expect much from him his first year. Then why didn't he get the damn surgery if he couldn't sit down and, and you know for meetings and all that? And the D-line coach wasn't supposed to say that. You know what I'm saying? They probably, you know, got at him for saying that. He couldn't sit down. He I mean, come on, get the surgery last year. At least this year it could have been like a recovery, like semi bounce back there. Then next year he would have been able to hit the hit the ground rolling, bro. This this franchise dude just they, they just make obvious mistakes. They roll the dice on stupid shit. It, it just, I'm sorry, man, but it just don't make no sense, dude. This, this is stuff me and you can figure out. I can do a better job than Brad Holmes. All the scouting and resources that they pay, it don't take that much to scout a player, dude. Can you play or can't you play? When you start talking about, you know, small school guys and that's when scouting department come, in, come into play. That first and second round, they make so many mistakes. Could have had Jacon Brisker, the safety. One of the best rookies out there. You didn't take him. Come on. Needed the linebackers, didn't address that. Need a future quarterback, didn't address that. If it wasn't for Jeff Okuda playing well, man, I don't know where that'd be at right now, dude. I don't know, man. Jeff Okuda, I don't even know how he's doing it because they ain't got no pass rush. Is everybody injured? It's just freaking Aiden Hutchinson out there. And people turning on Aiden Hutchinson should be turning on Brad Holmes for doing dumb stuff.
he just sat there and then he gonna step up. We didn't expect much from him last year. You know, he had a back injury. We didn't expect, hey, okay, dog. Why not shut him down, put him on IR, make him get the surgery? It, come on, man. This is shaking my head, bro. Just shake my head. This is this got to be a joke, bro. And just obvious mistakes that they keep making, bro. It ain't like, man, I can see that, bro. I, I see where they coming from. No, it's just like this idiots, bro. Idiots. You trade Matthew Stafford where he can go win a championship and make the Detroit Lions franchise look like the idiots. Even though he's struggling this year, the damage is already done. Come on, man. Instead of what's doing best for the franchise, you do what's best for Matthew Stafford. Instead of what's doing best for the franchise, and in spite, you don't let Calvin and Barry go for King's Ransom to change the franchise around. It's got to be a change of philosophy at, at some point with the Lions, bro. But it won't be. As long as they clock in figures, major figures, and as long as they got idiots to continue to buy in, we, we, we the problem, bro. We should have been turned our back on the Lions long ago. We, we the fans are the problem. We are we are the problem. Then, you know, the NFL throw us a token. Martha and, and Brad is on the committee. And, man, I don't give a fuck about that. We the problems, dude, man. We should we should burn all this shit into and don't don't no shouldn't nobody be allowed to go down there, bro. Shouldn't nobody have a lion jersey on, bro. And I hate to do that to a brother in Brad Holmes, but man, you would just you just been making some dumbass moves, brother. I don't excuse my language. You just been you just been doing some dumb, real dumb stuff, bro. And I, you know, it shouldn't nobody buy a ticket. So nobody buy a popcorn. Or pop. Shouldn't nobody go down there. They the only franchise that ain't held up their end of the bargain. The Pistons and did something. The Wings held it down for a long time. The Tigers at least done done something. You know what I'm saying? Michigan and Michigan State football, basketball, they made the playoffs and done something. You know what I'm saying? Made championship runs, final four runs. The one, you know, the one time the Lions were supposed to hand it out. Up in hold the end of the bargain, they have never done it, bro. Never. And you stop going down there, giving them your money, stop buying apparel, and let them fill it in the pocket and make if it take three years, four years, five. We've been waiting since 19. We've been waiting how long? Over 100 years for the win. If it take five to ten years to, to break the, the fours and, and make them go into the negative. To sell the franchise, so be it. If they want to sell, if they want to move the franchise to another city, forget it. So be it. Let them move it, bro. It ain't been nothing but heartache and pain. They want to, they want to play hardball. It ain't been nothing but heartache and pain with the Lions, bro. Lies, deception. I mean, if they want to move to San Antonio, they want to move to Los, wherever the hell they want to move at. I don't care no more, bro. You know, whatever we got to do, man, to get this curse up off the city, dude, we got to do it. And that curse is known as the Fords. But this Anna Zorky thing is, is just stone cold, pure deception and pure ignorance to pick that dude and how they handled the injury. So, like I said, he was the second most important player on the team. And now y'all see, looking at the D-line, now y'all see why I say that. Let the dog catch you. Like but um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. See how Detroit Lions saw playlists for more videos like this. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash, App, Venmo, PayPal. Link tree, the first link in the description. Appreciate the love, support. Appreciate the uh, love, support. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.